What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out John Cena picks Roman Reigns over the rock as WWE's GOAT on Club Shay Shay. Uh, I definitely wanted to uh check out this interview when I, I saw that he uh initially uh dropped it on his YouTube channel. For those who don't know, uh Shannon Sharp is a very huge wrestling fan. I, I forgot what episode I was watching uh on uh one of his uh on his show with ocho um uh nightcap they were talking about wrestling and stuff like that and i didn't know how big of a wrestling fan he is like he he you know so he used to love watch wrestling he was watching wrestling in the territory days like he knows his history he knows his stuff so the fact that he has john cena on here is really dope and i'm gonna actually go check out the rest of the interview in its entirety but he clipped this part of it up so uh you know definitely y'all get a chance go watch the whole interview um to you know kind of see what their conversation was about i definitely plan on doing that as well off camera so we're gonna see why john feels like roman reigns is the greatest of all time and i mean this is coming from john cena arguably one of the greatest of all time as well so for him to say that it's kind of crazy so let's see what he had to say triple h said you're the goal i had rick flair on here he said sean michaels is the goal who's john cena go i didn't know he had rick flair on there i need i may need to check that one out too wwe gosh that's a good question um you know i and i think that's what's interesting i can name my top uh four hip-hop artists because i have no skin in the game yeah this is a tough one to answer because I have so much professional respect right. for so many names. Mm -hmm. Like, I have so much respect for Rick, a, an ungodly amount of respect for Rick. And if you're just, my age or close to my age, he's it. And then if you're my age and you, one, are able to compete with him and perform with him, and mm -hmm. two, when you're around Rick and you listen to what those matches were, his travel schedule, the sacrifices he made, the investment he had, his passion. That One thing we can say about Rick, and he's not perfect because he's he's a human being like everybody else. The dude loved the business. He loved business. Despite all his shortcomings in his life, like I said, no one's perfect. You can't deny Rick Flair loved wrestling. He loved the business and he treated it as such, you know, in his, in his career. So, you know, that's a lot of people's goats, despite everything that's happened outside of wrestling for him and, you know, him not hanging it up when he probably should have. No one can take away that Ric Flair is one of the greatest of all time. And he birthed the generation of wrestlers who wanted to style and profile like Ric Flair, so. That's it's like, whoa, man, you are fucking all about this. Mm -hmm. But as I'm also enamored by the business side. Yes. And I don't think there's a, a better breathing example of what's the, the best the business has ever been than Roman Reigns. Okay. And it's amazing that I'm saying a still active talent with years in front of him is the greatest of all time. Wow. That's crazy. But he's been in it since 2012. I had to work my way up. I started on the bench mm -hmm. and then got onto the Saturday program and then just lost every match. He came in with the shield in a, mm -hmm. in a really high level spot mm -hmm. and never wavered. Even when the fans didn't like him, he was still in a main event spot. Mm -hmm. He's been in a main event lens for over a decade now. Uh -huh. And he's brought through his clock and you could say whatever force has helped it, but in 2012, we were, the stock was trading at 11 bucks. WWE or TKO stocks now at 117. Wow. That's on his <laughs> shoulders. There isn't a better indication. And he makes a good point. Now, granted, a lot of those go by the, you know, fall to Vince shoving this guy down our throats as the guy that we didn't want. It wasn't until pandemic and he said i'm not coming back unless we switch some things and vince took a chance and they took a chance and it paid off and i'm not gonna lie to you he is the draw he is the draw in wwe he is he's become 
what the Stone Colds, what the Rocks, what the John Cena's of the world was back in the day. He became the draw. The Hulk Hogan's of the world. He was the draw. It was always that one top guy that you could depend on that was going to bring the money in, that was going to trickle down to everybody else. It's Roman Reigns. He's the draw. And it's crazy coming from him saying this. Like, I don't think this is just him, you know, blowing smoke. I do believe John feels that way. And for me personally, my goat is still going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's what I grew up with. But I can respect that. I can honestly say you got to kind of put, it's not even kind of, you have to put Roman Reigns in that tier now. You have to put him on the Mount Rushmore's of wrestling. I you I can't get mad at you if you have him on that Mount Rushmore. Hell, if you're a kid growing up watching this from the pandemic on up or a little bit before the pandemic, or hell, even when he was the big dog <laughs> and people didn't like him, the kids still loved Roman. So if you're a kid watching this guy become who he is now, where his aura is over fucking 9,000, of course you're going to put him over Stone Cold. Of course you're going to put him over The Rock. Or of course you're going to put him over John Cena. The John Cena. Of course you are. Because look at what he's done. Look at the character switch. Look at the persona switch. Like, bruh, the guy is him in wrestling. And it's it's crazy to see. So I can understand why some would say that. Why he's the greatest of all time. Of and I know it's a team effort, nobody does it alone. Mm -hmm. But like when you say, hey, that to that to me is like that's some serious shit. Yeah, and and for me, I I gotta give her respect where respect is is due and Joe's smart passionate about the business, multi-generational athlete, has respect for his family, has has respect for the locker room, has respect for the business. He's mm -hmm. not, he's just, he's, he's a very, very smart performer and somebody I respect. He would be my greatest of all time. You follow the path, you get The Rock. Yep. Yeah, he, rock would be second, because Rock did the same thing in the 90s, yeah. but this is the one time I can say this, because Rock's numbers are always number one. <laughs> Roman's numbers. Yeah have been better than Dwayne's. Right. But I mean, gosh, that's, that's a, that's like this. Big you know? Yeah. Batista. When you decided to say, you know what, I'm gonna give this acting thing a try. Cause Rock wrestled, then went to acting, still wrestles periodically here and there. Batista did the same thing. Batista now, he mainly just does acting. And even Roman Reigns, he's, Followed in your so what did you have conversations with Rock? Did you have conversations with Batista? I did, but I think our paths were different. Okay, I think especially with Dwayne, he did did WWE and said I want to do act. Okay, I think with Batista, he also said I now want to do act. Okay, I got a chance to do act. Okay, and I got a chance early in my career. Two thousand and four was my first movie, mm -hmm. and it didn't go so well. <laughs> and then I did a bunch of bad movies, but I yeah. got those chances because the WWE was opening a studio. Right. Uh -huh. Again, if life cracks the door open, see what's behind. Yes. It. So my boss was like, hey, you got to go to Australia to make this movie. Why? Because we were going to do it with Stone Cold and he backed out. When do we mm -hmm. film? In a week. Get down there. Okay, let's go. Right. That got me kind of run out of the movie business in 2009. And then in the early, like 2010, 11, 12, I was approached with very small roles. Mm -hmm. And I'd been playing this, the same character on TV, not that I was bored, but this was a chance to be like, hey, do you want to make fun of yourself? Or do you want to be part of this movie where you can dress up as a different character and do different stuff? So I didn't say I was going to go act. I just merely said, yo, there's an opportunity in front of me mm -hmm. that I'd like to do. I know why I fucked up in the past because I wanted to be in the ring when I should have wanted to be on set. Right. Let's give this thing a try. And when you give it a try, give it a try. Respect the process, respect the long days, respect the multiple takes. It's not live entertainment. There's not 10,000 people screaming mm -hmm. your name. Do this for this and do it the best you can. And that's when things start. Good work. I, I'm a firm believer in good work will get you another opportunity somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. And that started to happen. What was the hardest part about auditioning? Failing. It's, is the thing. And, and a lot of the, a lot of the audition process, they're just looking, a lot of it is aesthetic. You know, you, you see a character in your mind when you read the book and if the person walks in and they're the, the spitting image of that character, man, they, they got a, a good chance. Right. 
anyone can be coachable. If I'm a director, I want to think if I'm your head coach and I see you and I'm like, man, I think I, with good coaching, I think we can Make, help this mm -hmm, talent. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot, that's a lot of the audition process. So the, the shitty thing is failing a lot. Like mm. it is a business of rejection. Mm. In baseball, you get to hit three out of 10 times, you make the Hall of Fame. Yeah. That's an F. <laughs> Audition, it's like, God, if you land one out of a hundred, so for some, it's one out of a thousand. Like you, you just get rejected all the time. And it, you're basically being told you're not good enough. Wow. And, and they kind of don't tell you why. Mm -hmm. It's just you didn't get the gig. So it's, if you know you need to work on your speed, Easy. I'll practice that. I'll get better at that. But just tell me that. Son, yeah. you're not fast enough. Yeah, you don't. Get, you don't. Son, get, you're not strong. Enough. You don't get anything. Right. You just don't get the Son, part. Your, your routes. You need to work on your routes. Yeah. Son, you need to be able to get on the edge. You need to get skinny. So, but when you say nah, you don't. You don't know what to practice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's just tough. It's tough. But then train wreck happens. Yep. <laughs> what was that situation like? Well, I mean, you like they call you. It's like okay, we got this role. We got this role, John. We like for you to come down there, read for it. And uh, l l give this thing a go. Yep. And I sat in a room with Amy Schumer and Judd Apatow. And I was prepared. Mm -hmm. We went through the script. Okay. And then life handed me an opportunity. Judd said, put the script down and just riff. Mm. And we just did. And, and I wasn't afraid of looking silly. And I wasn't afraid of not being funny. And I wasn't afraid of failing. Mm -hmm. Because I was failing all the time anyway. <laughs> and I got advice from Judd behind the camera of kind of encouraging me to what to say. Amy is an angel. She made the environment so comfortable. And then when I got the, the part, eventually, and they were like, yeah, it's a sex scene. Mm -hmm. And we want you to do elaborate and crazy stunt sex. And all those lines you had, we're probably not going to use. We're just going to do the stunt sex scene. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Right. Be naked in front of everybody? Yeah, no problem. Right. Let's do it. So that also comes with like... Well, people are going to laugh at me and people are going to make fun of the way I look physically. Okay, man, let's go. Be, being okay with self, mm -hmm. you know, and okay, this is what this profession is about. Yeah, let's do it. Let's give it a try. Is it hard doing a sex scene? Oh my God, it's the worst. <laughs> Why was so bad about it? <laughs> right now. Did I miss up? No, right, this is the thing. Right now, you guys at home think it's just us. Yeah. No, there's a whole fucking world back here. Yes. <laughs> and this is... This is like a great production nonetheless. Right. But dude, man, like the catering was right there. <laughs> man, like the sound tent is right there. They start off, we, we start off practice. It was like a closed set. And I'm, I've, I've come to grips with like, ah, this is who you are. You work every day to be the best you can. Right. Fuck it, man. Let it hang out. Right. Want to join Club <laughs> Hey, <laughs> yo. <laughs> let it hang out. What the fuck? Oh man, I'm definitely gonna have to finish uh watching the rest of that man. <laughs> what the fuck? But it's crazy to know that John Cena even got rejected from several roles. And 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 that's one of those humbling experiences, but you also understand that it's a different world and they're not just gonna give you a role because your name is John Cena. No, you gotta fit the role you got to earn the role and sometimes you may think you are a good fit and they're like nah we're gonna go with somebody else but the thing about john is is just one of those things where you know he didn't let it deter him he never gave up <laughs> as as we all know about john and he was able to find his way in the hollywood and now he's doing more frequent things and and people are more accustomed to seeing him on on movie sets and shows and sometimes i've not even sometimes i've heard a lot of people give john praise for his comedic timing and his acting chops like sometimes he's some of the best parts of a film so it's cool to see that it is really dope to see that he coins uh roman reigns at the greatest of all time coming from one of the greatest of all time so i want to get y'all opinion who is y'all goat of all time there's no wrong answer there's no right answer it's just your opinion these are all opinions you let me know y'all know mine's the stone cold steve austin so y'all let me know who's y'all favorite goat of all time there's no wrong answer here man just your opinions but i appreciate all the love and support y'all have shown on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace